everybody, Super Baby Mario here. Welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy IV. In the last part, we finished exploring the town of monsters and then came here to the village of Tamra. And uh, in this part, we're gonna go this way. Do, 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 do. Yes, here is our destination. If I can land right in front of it, please, game. There we go. This is... The Sylvan Cave. I'm actually rather disappointed that it's the Sylvan Cave and not the Sylph Cave, because I was gonna make a Sylph Company reference. Whatever. I suppose this is the original name, so I can't really complain too much. Go croak yourself. Um. Um? Oh, come on. I, I was like, is Cecil immune to Toad or something? But apparently not. Um. Oh, come on, that didn't kill her. Lame. Uh, Rydia, you have Toad, yes? That is slightly more cost-efficient than using heal. If you'll just hurry the hell up. So yeah, I don't think the Toad Lady can actually attack, but uh, I will- oh, come on. Oh, it doesn't take effect until- until the- uh, until all of them have gone. That makes sense. Shoosh! I do enjoy how they can miss, though. Also, I'm pretty sure that one just healed Edge, and then toted Kane. Lovely. One! I do like the little attacking animation that they do when they're toted, though. It's kind of adorable. <laughs> Alright. So, no, not on everybody. That would be bad. Let's just have Cecil murder all the toads. And by all of them, I mean one at a time. And I suppose you can heal what's-his-face. Yeah, you know, what's-his-face. With the face. Yeah, that one. Alright, so that was an interesting first battle in this dungeon. So, uh, as you may be able to tell by the glowing green patches on the floor, you're gonna want to have Rosa cast Float on everybody again for this one. Hopefully this time I'll actually remember to cast it on at the beginning of every floor. Oh, come on. Oh, I have to go around. Okay. Also, I do like the, how, how the dungeon has the, uh, the Town of Monsters theme. Which I'm pretty sure the Land of Monsters has in other versions of the game. Also, float. I remembered before hitting myself with a floor. So, that's an improvement, I guess. I mean, to be fair, that is only because there were, like, no glowy patches in the immediate vicinity. But I will, I will take what I can get. Uh, let's go back up to the first floor. There's a save point. Alright, that's... different. Sure, I'll take it. I'm not gonna use it right now because I have no need to do so, but it's good to know that it's there. And... oh, Jesus! So we have Mulbulls, <laughs> which is the best name. So, um... <laughs> For those of you who are familiar with the Final Fantasy series, you may re you may recognize these things as being Marlboros, or sorry, Malboros. They're not Marlboros. That that is the cigarette company, which many people get confused with. I'm just gonna go ahead and use one of my many heal potions. In all honesty, I should probably be having Rydia use uh, 
summons rather than items, but whatevs. Why why did why does it default to you using it on Kane? Digest. Well, luckily that was fairly ineffective. So, um, uh, let's try out Levia. After Kane lands on one of them. Okay, that's I'm at least they're semi easy to kill. Gasp, it's a wave. And it did a lot of damage. I like it. <laughs> Alright, so, um, healing is a thing. So, what is this treasure chest that is behind this secret passage? It is an elven bow. Cool! I don't know if that's better than the bow I got from the Town of Monsters or not because I'm too lazy to actually check. Anyways, we have we have ghosts, which are basically just more powerful forms of the, I think, spirits and souls that we fought in Mount Hobbs and Mount Ordeals. If they would stop lighting my party members on fire, I would like to kill them. That would be very nice. At least they go down really easily. I was just gonna have Rydia summon Shiva and wipe them all out instantly, but I don't even think I need to do that, because they go down in one hit. I was hoping it would, that would also translate to one hit from Rosa, but I guess that was wishful thinking on my part. Oh, I was hoping Rydia would learn something from that. Lame. Alright. So, we have Centipede, which I'm, I'm going to run away from the Centipede, and also the Mobiles, because I would rather not have Breath used on me. <laughs> that was, that was the best, ama the, 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 the best animation, just the toad hopping away. That, that was my favorite thing. All right. So, we have a whole bunch of different ways that we can go. So that was odd. She just kind of cast a toad on herself. I, I don't even know. That was, that was quite welcome, though. And... Chest that's already open? Qua? So, something interesting to note is that if you, uh... If you kill the Toad Lady, then her minions are basically sitting ducks. They will do absolutely nothing to you, and that chest is just kind of empty. Alright, sure. Uh... Up there, I think, is a place that is good. At this rate, I'm just gonna go through my entire supply of remedies. That, that's just a thing that's going to happen, apparently. Uh, floating. I wish there would be just a floor without any of this shit. Fire arrows, ice arrows, lit arrows. And, uh, some stuffs. Alright, that's pretty decent haul for that floor. I was not expecting five treasure chests. Yes, I was not expecting five treasure chests in such close vicinity to one another. So, what's down here? Ah, oh, yes, there's a tre another treasure chest. That time was on purpose. Or maybe that's just what I want you to think. Because it's true. Oh, we have new things. We have a dark tree. Or rather, two of them. This is gonna be... Really, Kane? What the heck was that? See, Cecil... Cecil's doing it right! And even Edge is not quite killing things. 
Um, okay, that's not what I was expecting at all. Thank you, Edge, for screwing that up. Come on now. <laughs> Just want to kill all of the Thinguses. Let's see uh, how quickly the dark trees die. Probably not very. Yeah, that sounds about right. And, well, Edge is almost dead. That's at least something is dying, I guess. I would rather it not be one of my party members. There we go. See, Ed Edge, you're, you're improving. Slowly, but you are improving. Cure one potion! Elixir, that's, that's at least good. I just noticed that there was a secret passage there. That was a slight waste of my time and yours, but whatever. So now that healing is out of the way, what's down here other than more enemies? I like how the uh, the Toad Lady and her minions don't actually have any means of doing damage to you. All they do is cast Toad repeatedly. And also, this is a place that I wasn't expecting to reach yet. Hi. Wow! Humans exist! Um, I'm, I'm just kind of here. I don't want to take him. Hey, buddy. How you doing? You are asleep. Okay, then. So, yeah. Yang is just kind of here. How he got here, nobody knows. Maybe the explosion from the, the super cannon just kind of blasted him over here. And we get cat claws? And why are we getting claws? Nobody can use them! Actually, I think Edge can, but nobody wants to use them because Edge has far better weapons. Anyways, going back inside, because there's a whole section of the cave that I didn't get to explore, and that section is, of course, this one down here. Gonna float once again, because floating is good. It lets you avoid unnecessary damage. And also, I see you there, Secret Passage. Nope! Back attacks are the worst thing. Worse than being lit on fire. So, what is... Oh, there are three tra... Trests. Yes, there are three trests. Once again, Cheshire Trests. Not to be confused with Cheshire Cats. Oh, Edge learned smoke. Which, I believe, lets you escape from battle instantly? Alright, so... We have Yonder Secret Passage and... Teleporter? I mean, I can't access the teleporter, but it's... Of course, one step away from the door, and it's a back attack... Eh, no, don't want to deal with this. Kane, stop being lit on fire. Kane, stop being lit on fire. I th it, that was Kane again. I was just gonna call shenanigans. Whatever. Let's go up the stairs and float ourselves on like Modest Mouse. I've never actually heard a Modest Mouse song. I just know that there is one called Float On. And here we have lots of treasure. 2,000 gup, very nice. 3,000 gup, also very nice. And the potions will maybe come in handy at some point. Nope! Nope! Not dealing actually. Well, like... I changed my mind at the very last second, which was not enough, apparently. <laughs> I was gonna say, like, there's only one mole bowl. That's probably fine. And, uh, anyways, we want to fall into this incredibly conspicuous hole, and not forget to float. I almost did, but not quite. 
Yeah, I see you there, Yang's new house. What are this? That's just a completely pointless tile. Cool. And this le- Of course! Can't have the- Can't have this dungeon without forgetting to float at least once. We've got... Well, at least it's easy, monsters. Alright, and what what are our spoils? We get an elixir. That's a tad bit underwhelming, but whatevs. Alright, second chest. More monsters! Who would have seen that coming? And fuck. Bye-bye. <sighs> Congratulations, you've been waived. And we get... Ooh, a full moon! Which is a... Boomerang upgrade for Edge. Which, I didn't even have a boomerang to begin with, so this is pretty nice. And it's the same power as the long katana. But, it lets me do this. Yay! Now Edge can hit things from the back row effectively. And, um, yeah, heal. No, not cure one potion. These better not all have monsters. I'm assuming they all have monsters. And our spoils for war is another elixir. Alright, that's somewhat cool. No! You are not allowed to exist! And two dead mobiles later, we get the Avenger. I don't know how good that is. Let us see. Do, 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 do. Where is it? Why can't I use it? I assume I'm not allowed to have a shield equipped in order to use it, and I would rather have a shield than more attack power. So, we have more ghosts! Yay! Guess what? It's another elixir! And I actually know what this treasure is, but I need to heal first. Guess what? It's more monsters. We have two centipedes. Okay, maybe I'll actually get to fight these ones. And by maybe, I mean definitely, because I'm not gonna run away from them. Because they are not a back attack, nor are they accompanied by mobiles. Excuse me? That was pathetic! And we get Med Medusa arrows. What? That's not what I thought that was. Nice! Rosa learned Cure 4. Very nice. I am quite pleased with that. Anyways, I don't think there's anything else for us in there, but I will... I will probably do some more exploring. Yeah. Aw, oh, nice. Rydia learned Ice 3. Still haven't found anything, but at least Rydia learned a good spell. Aha! Here's something that I somehow completely failed to notice. This may be the thing I'm looking for. Uh, well, I'm certainly not looking for more enemies. Specifically, more freaking toads. Alright, and yep, that's the thing I was looking for, the Mute Dagger. Which, as you may be able to tell, can cast Mute when, in, when it's used. Yeah. I'm gonna not warp out yet because I because Cecil and Rosa are both toads. Not Quip, what are you doing? What are you doing, me? I just realized that I used up all of Rydia's MP because I used Leviathan too many times. Cool! It's a good thing we're leaving now. Goodbye and good riddance, Sylf Cave. Sylvan Cave. That's what it's called. Yeah. Um, let's see how... how well the Mute Dagger does for the edge. Do, 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 do. Eh, 
not great. Gonna keep the full moon boomerang on. And, uh... There's one last stop I want to make in the underworld before we actually move onwards with actual plot. And that is down here. This is Cockle the Smiths. That's, that's a dwarf. And we have jars. I don't know if the jars contain anything, but we will certainly find out. I'm sorry that your boss has lost his confidence, Lally. Yay, a heal potion! I can definitely use that after that last dungeon. And a cure too, that's less exciting. You're in the way. So, what do we have upstairs other than presumably Cockle? Who is asleep. Alright. Sleep talking, are you? You can't even find the legendary or adamant. And therefore you're not gonna make any swords because of it? Logic! Anyways, there's nothing that we can really do in this place currently. I just wanted to point out that it exists. So, next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy IV, we're finally going to arrive over here at, I can't land right in front of it, the Sealed Cave. So thank you all for watching, and I will see you next time. Take care, everybody.